Hi everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch bringing you another quick and fun sketch. Today is using a different technique. Um, we are going to be sketching this scene here. Um, and you can see it's a, a loose and interesting sketch. It's just using two colours. Now the trick here is one of those colours is watercolour. I'm using a quinacridone sienna, but it doesn't really matter which colour you use. Um, and the other colour is just ink. So using my normal fountain pen, my Lamy Safari, with just a black ink cartridge. You could use blue, brown, anything again, um, but one which is not waterproof. Um, and just with these two little things, we can create really interesting quick sketches. So tune in and um, let's have some fun with this sketch. Hello everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch. Today is all about a really fun way of sketching. Now I've got a little A5 piece of paper here um, and I've got pencil, little set of watercolours and a um, just a normal water, watercolour note. Again. Hello everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch and thank you for joining me. Today we are doing a just a really quick fun way of capturing a scene. You're going to need a piece of paper obviously, a pencil, I've got a mechanical pencil and a fountain pen or a normal pen but one which has non-waterproof ink, so ink which will run when you put water on it. So I've just got a normal Lamy Safari um, pen with a normal Lamy cartridge in instead of some of the fancier waterproof inks. We're also going to do some fun things with a bit of masking tape. So I've done a sort of standard taping down onto my uh, board here and then let's just add a little bit of texture to this. So if I just take a few bits of masking tape and rip them up we can create this interesting shape to the frame and that's gonna well you'll see when we when we finish this thing that will give us a really interesting and varied um, frame which just adds a another dimension to what's going to be quite a fun and quirky sketch so we don't need to go everywhere with this but just a few bits here and there maybe we can shorten an edge and just shorten this corner as well and we'll have a little little play and see what see what that does now the reference photo is up in the corner this is a little scene in St Neots towards the town centre and what I like about it is the the range of lights and shadows and that's going to be a fun thing to play with using this technique so I'm going to start with a pencil and all we're going to do is a rough rough sketch so the really big shapes we always talk about shapes but just pick out those really big shapes and it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly accurate we can play with our scene as much as we want and we can reshape it later when we add some pen of course but we're just getting this idea so we've got this bold white house got another house coming along then we've got the church so it pops up here I'm just to treat the church with a couple of rectangles the road comes along here let's just make a bit more of this wall and we can get some of these houses in at the back as well and then along here we've got a sort of row of houses which just comes towards us and towards us this uh, there's a really bold roof line here so let's get that in and then this last house and this is just it's taking the the shapes the idea of what's going on it doesn't need to be exact so it just is recognizable if it's the if it's the idea it's not recognizable if you try really hard try to put loads of detail in and and get lost in all that detail now that is the sketch done i don't know how long that took a minute or so um, and now we're going to add a bit of color so before the pen we're adding some color and we're just going to choose one color so you choose whichever color you like most for this i'm going to go for a nice warm um, quinacridone sienna it's a sort of ready ready warm color I'm going to splash that onto a few areas and I'm picking out the areas of shadow here and having done that little splash we'll come back in having cleaned our brush off and we can move that around and just we're not trying to paint the scene as it were we're trying to 
gives a little bit of shape to this splash that we've made. A little bit of shape, but mostly we're trying to basically create an interesting shape. And then we can put a little bit more on in places. So let's just emphasize that this is a shadow coming across the road, for example. And we want to bring it down to our, our frame in a couple of sides and a little bit just extending up as well. So now we want to make this splash even more interesting. So clean your brush and pull out some light and just do that in a few places as well. Whilst it's all nice and wet, this is sort of safe to do. You're not going to create funny lines. You could also come in with a slightly damp brush and just soften up some of these edges so that we don't get this this splash being a, a really distinct line. It can be a, a soft thing. And then we could get a bit more pigment in a few places. We've, we've pulled out light. Let's add in some, some colour. You can even just try and play with some of these lines and and make them uh, make them bolder. Might even add a little bit of just very subtle uh, stuff up here, and then even more splashes. And that is that done. Now, bear with me. I'm going to cheat and just try this with my hairdryer. So now, what have we got? We've got a, a funny splash with a really loose pencil sketch. And we're going to come in with our pen. So I've got the fountain pen with the non-waterproof ink, the normal ink. And just having a little glance at our reference, let's start picking out some of these lines. And we want to get some extra lines where there's more boldness. We want to start picking out a couple of details like windows. But these lines, again, they're, they're suggestive. They'll be a bit more than the uh, pencil sketch, but do you see how the windows can just be a little line? We want to get in the base of these houses and we want to start using some of the shapes that have been created here. So like this little shape here, well that can be a roof line. And it just it unifies the ideas that you're doing. And then in the distance, just these vertical lines give you the idea of what's going on in the scene. And do keep having a look at your reference so that it's, you know, it might not be exactly that, or it won't be exactly that, but you're still keeping true to the ideas, the sentiment of the, the reference. Makes it recognisable, and that means you can draw your most interested bits of inspiration from, from the uh, photo, but also, you know, apply your own thoughts, ideas. And here we go, so we almost finish all the houses here haven't we and it's just working really quickly really loosely to get these big shapes down I quite like this so there's a little um, holes that are coming down and this has got a lot of shadow on the side and just get the edge of the house in we apply a darker line here, it shows it's shadowed. We can even put these little shapes of tree leaves in. I haven't done any windows along here, so let's just start picking out some. There's like a double door, then a little window. We can add in our own windows as well to make the scene sort of believable. There's a few more chimneys, which would be nice to add in. No chimneys on this side. But then we've got some lovely lines coming across. So if we just introduce those, and I always like to practice them. Just do one little sweep before I go. I think what we can do is we can invent the, the pole because that just helps us understand what's going on there. And maybe we need to add in this line of pavement, the sidewalk. more window details and a door or two. Now this just final touches. We don't want to certainly don't want to overdo what is just a fun quick sketch. 
Okay. Just decided this was a little bit empty, so we'll add a bit more there. And that's our sketch done. Now what I'm going to do is come back in with a brush. Now my water's a little bit unclean, but that's fine. I could, if I was really bothered and wanted to make this really brilliant, could change my water, or I could accept that actually using a little bit of extra tone will make life even more interesting. And we're going to use the water to start washing this ink just gently to emphasize some tone and shadow. We can create windows out of it. So we've got these lines for windows. So if we just wash them gently, suddenly we've got a line and a sort of tonal area. We can bring lines all the way down and create shadows. And again, it's just gently, gently. Don't use too much water because we want to uh, have some control over what we're doing. And just focus on where the shadows are in, in our reference. And there's lots and lots of shadows going on, but we're going to pick out the boldest shadows. So just down this side of the house is one of the boldest shadows, as is up here. And you just gently, gently wash it. And it's just a really nice way of applying a little bit of tone to a, a very quick sketch. And I don't know about you, but I think it, it just brings things to life. Suddenly you've got this fascinating sketch. It's got it's got this nice bright warm colour, which is why I went for a nice liquid acne sienna. But equally you could use a you could you could give it a different feel by using a, an indigo or a or a dark blue which would make it moody or a a nice cobalt blue or cerulean or something to make it feel really sort of fresh and summery. And just keep moving around and seeing where you think a bit more tone here, a bit more tone there. Maybe this this roof as well is in shadow and under here is a real definite shadow. And let's just give this tree that we added a little bit of shape as well. And what's quite nice is to bring these washes just to the edge of where we've ripped up this um, masking tape. And that, I think, is, is done. So, I don't know, very, very quick and I think quite interesting. And if we just peel away our masking tape, Suddenly we've got this really strong frame, this striking image. And we're going to do one more thing to enhance it as well. So we're going to use our pen to create a frame. And this is definitely optional, but I'll do the experiment so that you don't have to. And then you can decide if you like it or if you would prefer to stick with a normal frame or if you'd prefer to do this and just keeping those lines sort of loose and expressive and probably in, in, in keeping with the the rest of the image and then we've got this really interesting frame and suddenly this is a quite a dramatic little portal portal view into this fun little scene don't forget to sign it I always like to sign just outside the frame. And that is that done. So it took about 10, 11 minutes. One colour, a bit of ink, a couple of brushes, and a really interesting sketch. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you have, please do like, subscribe. I also have a Skillshare course up, which is in the link, which is just a bit more in-depth look at some of my sketching processes, particularly looking at a continuous line sketching but I hope to bring some more courses out in the future as well um, and of course have a good day thanks for watching <laughs>